Welcome in everybody, it's game six of our Goblin Run and we finally sadly run into some dwarfs. They've got a mighty bow troll slayer, boo, they've got a lot of tackle because they're stupid boring dwarfs. They do have a runner with block and they've got a guard lineman as well. We're getting 190,000 in inducements. What can we do with 190,000? Uh, we can only get one star because I've got 15 players. So, it's Bomber again. I need to get a second bench spot. I kind of need someone to die because I don't want to fire anyone. I kind of need someone to die so I can get some bench spots. Um, okay, we'll just take Bomber and two bribes. And some assistant coaches. Hmm. We've lost the toss, so we don't choose this time. The problem is, Kronosi, this is why I would have, oh, this is why I really want to get, um, I want to go to 14 players. The problem is just that Bomber for 50,000 is too good. Like, he's, he's literally too good. So, like, it's really hard to ever not take him. So, all of the other fun stars, I'm not taking because I'm taking Bomber. And that feels like a sad missed opportunity. But Bomber is too good. <laughs> He's just ridiculous. Are we putting Collie on with the Dauntless? I guess we are, aren't we? She may have some uses. What has changed? Bomber's a pretty man in Blood Bowl 2. Um, well, Bomber Dribble's not specifically Veli. I don't know if he always did. Well, they, Stunty no longer puts a minus one modifier on them for throwing. So that's already quite big. Uh, Bombard Dribble Snot specifically has passing three plus and he has accurate as well. So as long as you don't roll a one, you're basically always going to get at least um, inaccurate and a lot of the time accurate. He has a special ability, which is once per game, if an opponent catches it, he can just blow it up before they get a chance to throw it back. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're just, they're just, the stunty not being a negative modifier, I guess, is one part of it. And the, um, increased accuracy, I think Bomber didn't used to go on two plus for quick and three plus for short, but I could be wrong on that. And then the automatic, if it gets caught the first time, you can just blow them up. It's pretty powerful. Cake. Yeah, they're very cheap, 50k, but I think one was always 50k, wasn't he? I might be wrong on that part. He was 80? Oh, wow, okay, yeah, much cheaper then. Instant KO. What? Well, I thought there was a Goblin Star who was 60, though, because I thought there was... Okay, we're just one dicing. Because um, I remember when you got the Goblin Stadium with the uh, 50k off the Pross of Star players. I thought there was one you could get for 10k. Boomer was... See, if Yudlegar's saying it, I think Yudlegar will be right, though, because Yudlegar will have played it a lot. <laughs> so Yudlegar's agreeing with me. Hmm. I don't believe anyone would have played more. More bomber games in Buffalo too. Hmm. But it's still 10k off, right? So it's still 50k instead of 60 now. So still some discount. What's going on here? Are we fouling a troll? Or are we just making a clump? Making a nice bomb friendly clump of dwarfs. Hey, Martin. Let's 
say, you're going to pick the board up. You're going to come up the screen. It's so weird when you're used to playing elves the whole time. I'm just like, okay, so now we separate the team. I don't know if that works with goblins, does it? <laughs> it's not how goblins play. Oh, they are fouling. Wow. That's so rowdy. And it's completely successful. And for the second game in a row, we failed regen. Ode, I think you're not meant to live. I'm really getting the vibe that Ode is just not meant to be alive. No, we injured our own troll. <laughs> okay, so remember when I said I wanted to play goblins without any any trolls? I've managed it. <laughs> I have managed it. No trolls for us. Whoops. Come on. Murder. We need it. Really, Ref? Really? Really? S started about as badly as it could, hasn't it? <laughs> started about as badly as it could. Hey, Dimmy. Thanks for the game earlier, Dimmy. And well played. What do you want me to do, Caution? I've got no players. Like, who are we hiding behind? <laughs> I've lost both my trolls. Like, that's the entire, like, set of players I can hide behind to go on, so... Someone was getting hit. Either the chainsaw's getting hit or the bomber's getting hit. Or the sneaky get dirty players getting hit. I can't protect them all. This game is a loss. We're going to throw some bombs and do some silly stuff until we run out of players. You can't. You can't. You can't change the fact we've lost both trolls in turn one. Hmm. I think Ode is now gone. Ode, I gave a reprieve when I brought him back from an MNG. He immediately got an arm bust. He's gone. Shepard is just badly hurt, so he'll be back. We actually might not be able to afford a second troll next game, though, so we might genuinely be without trolls for a minute. Um, all right. Uh... I don't think the chainsaw's even good in this matchup, to be honest, because like you don't want to be rolling ten plus. I guess ten plus becomes seven plus, but then if you fail it, you're stuck. So I don't know. It doesn't seem that great. I guess we could try it. We can always block with you if not. We need to high roll. Let's try to high roll. Okay, <laughs> let's snake. Wow, we didn't actually kill ourselves because we rolled a one and a one and then two more ones. <laughs> this is a very over game on turn two.
it's just mad because like it's a dwarf team and they literally foul the troll into Kaz. Like dwarfs can't afford to foul those pieces. Like it's not a sensible thing to do because your pieces are valuable and it's not like they have a bribe, but they did it anyway and that worked. And then we threw a bomb, which we should not have thrown to be fair, because it had my one player underneath it. To be honest with you, I wasn't sure that bombs hit players on the ground. So now I've learned the lesson that they definitely do hit players on the ground. <laughs> So that was uh, that was on me not knowing the rules completely. To be fair. I've done one bot gobble game. Turn when my bomber misses throw it and kill my fanatic. No. Oh, stupid mighty bow troll slayer as well. Jack. <laughs> He's up with your good dice casting you. I mean, I literally did. I literally did. All right. Boom. It's accurate. Them over. It's better than nothing. Uh, fanatic. Guaranteed dwarf hit. Hit one on the floor, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, doing the murder we need to do. We need to do the murder. Nothing's working. It's that sort of evening. It's not that sort of evening. The last game went quite well, actually. It's just that sort of game. <laughs> the animations are good. I like the animation as well. This is normal for orc or goblin stuff. It doesn't work out, it harms you, but occasionally goes off spectacularly. It's very fitting for the lore, isn't it? That's what happens in the lore. And it's very like goblins in this game. Goblins are often like this. So we can throw this, it's like a four plus. On a four plus, we can still hit their runner with a bomb. The dream isn't dead completely. We probably have to try it as well, just because next time we might have a chance. Because next time the bomber will get punched. I guess the only other option is to try and blow a hole that gives us a path to the runner. Might be better. We'll have a look at it. We'll have a look at it. No knockdown on Shamber is good. I 
I'm assuming they're going to bring someone in and get a hit on the uh, chainsaw. Well, they could go for the uphill on the wood again. He didn't see the opponents around him, did he? We should do it on one dice, rude. Bloody dwarfs, no one dices. Probably done, but maybe not. That's only a three plus. Do we do the three plus, which has only a 50 50 chance of knocking it down, or do we do the four plus, which guarantees knocking it down? That's oh, a five plus? Is it really sunny? Oh no. Oh, you don't get accurate yet. Yeah, no, we do the three plus. <laughs> we do the three plus. Definitely. The ball is high. We roll a three. <gasps> no, they deflected it. Diced. Oh my god, this is really like everything that can go wrong, go wrong kind of game. Um, I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? I have no players. There's not a single dwarf on the floor, so there's no one to foul. <laughs> Sad. Uh, my trolls both died on turn one. One got fouled by a dwarf, which I thought was very rude. And the other one, uh, I might have blown up with my own bomb. And neither of them regened. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Pretty unlucky. Pretty unlucky. The, the dwarf goblin matchup is not goblin favoured. And the dice have also not been goblin favoured. So it's a bit sad. We also obviously can't do a one turn because neither troll's going to be back to throw them. We might get... Do you know what, though? If we do one game on one troll, that really might give us a chance to induce something fun. So there is that. Just going to say it. This is in range of perfect fanatic spins. One, two, three, four, sack the ball. Easy. This is fine, you get to see the rarely seen goblin dacker to secure the draw. But what about the rumours it's rarely seen because it's not very good, Yudlaga? <laughs> what about those rumours? They've not hit Bomber. That is mad because that does give us some chance. I can't understand not hitting Bomber here. I guess they're going to base it a lot, but still, it gives it a chance. It's worked once for me. That's better than zero times. See if we can clear one of these for the bomber. Hmm. 
No, it was helping for. Oh my god, we've rolled a six. This is going to land on him. Unless they interfere a second time on a six. Don't. You can't do it twice. It's rude. Let me have my bomb. Let me have my bomb. Nothing's gone my way in this game. I want this one thing. <gasps> we got it. We got it. Bomber. That's why you hit Bomber. That's why you don't let Bomber stay on his feet. Um. Oh, this is spicy, but if we go this way, we could actually try and pick the ball up. YOLO. Go on, Shamba. Go on, Shamba. No, so close. <laughs> so close. Oh, my God. Shamba got all the way to the ball. Well, they're finally punching Bomber. <laughs> that was so nearly hero play from Shamba. Because then, like, it might even, like, even if they sack it, it might scatter out and they might not score. I mean, the thing is, even if they don't score, <laughs> we're still not going to win. Because <laughs> we've got no trolls. But, you know, something. Oh, it could have been a snake, but it wasn't. It's a weird choice. Could have knocked me over here. Like if you take both down, I fall over. Maybe it's a misclick. Maybe it's a misclick. Heroic work from these goblins. Heroic work from these goblins, not giving up on the fight. They've given themselves a dodge here as well. What? I'm so confused. They could have just knocked this over and now they've got to dodge as well as pick the ball up. I'm baffled. I didn't even clock that myself until just now that they've given themselves that as well. There's a one dice. They make it a two dice come all the way around. No. Oh, we're just not picking the ball up. Okay. Boo! Could they just like one time not knock over the ball and chain first time? Like at least use a reroll or something. So we'll have a chance to throw a bomb next turn. It won't be an easy bomb, but it'll be there. Oh my god, I thought I'd done it for a second. I thought Shamba had made it on the second on the second go. Oh, Shamba, so close. So close. Yeah, I might have forgotten that's the one dwarf for that tackle, you're right. Sorry, Krakatoa kid. Oh, he's going to get into my Just to care. Just to care. Wow. 
bomb is throwing a bomb next turn. That's the good news. So there will be hope. Hope in the form of a bomber bomb. It might be another six me, but we've done it once. And we still haven't used this special either, so there's also that. Do you believe, chat? I believe. I believe we're going to roll another six here. I believe we're going to roll a six and this runner is going to go splat and be dead. I think that's what's going to happen. Oh my god. Well, that was a bit rude. Still going to try it. But now it's just a hard six, I think. I think it was a six anyway, to be honest. It's a five. So probably inaccurate, but where is it landing? Inaccurate could still work. It could still be good enough. <gasps> oh my god, it was even on the right square, but didn't work. All right. Last play. Last option. Fails. Boo, dwarves. Boo at them. Boo at them for being boring dwarves. Nobody likes your dwarfs, Josh Lambo, Josie Lambo. Everyone thinks you're a boring dwarf playing dwarfs against stunties. The absolute worst. <laughs> if Josie Lambo ever sees this, it's nothing personal. I'm just messing. Oh, my homies hate Dolph. I should hope so with a name like Sneaky Gert. Oh, oh, that would have been so good if they'd re-rolled re into the triple skull. Problem is, we've only got one bribe here, so I don't even know if we can keep Bummer around. I don't even know if we can, because he's going to have to go on the pitch. I think we probably can't. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, we've got a six. We don't have to use bribe. Good. Very good. Uh, yeah, I can't because I don't know if I care. It's going to come back. So we have got a bribe still for Bomber, but he is going to have to go on the pitch for this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. So we're going to have to put both bombers on the pitch this turn. And we'll save the bribe for dribble snot, I guess. I'm so sad about the lack of damage we've done. Like, expected to get pummeled, expected to go badly. But like, hope we'd hurt something, which we have not done. I feel like, in general, the Uligan has been a massive disappointment on this run so far. Maybe I'm just having short-term memory. Because I feel like the chainsaw has caused some casualties. The bombs have done some stuff. 
But I like I can't remember a foul like she causing a casualty for this team. Again, maybe that's just like my memory tricking me, but that's how it feels. <laughs> Don't even get to do one block. Womp womp. Not even one block. Uh, I'll give it a call. Fails. Oh, saving the bike for Mama. I'll give it a call first. Oh wow, we've argued the call twice on Mama. That's quite good. So we've still got our bribe, so at least we can use that for valing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten goblins. Right, a kind of sir, boo dwarfs. Boo them all the way. We're playing dwarfs, and we lost both of our trolls on turn one. <laughs> one of them admittedly to my own bomb. So, as you can imagine, this game has been a struggle. <laughs> It's the first time we've run into dwarfs on uh, the Scoblin team, actually. Yudlagar has been tempting me, tempting me with talk of the elusive Goblin Daka. I like what he's selling. I like this talk he's talking. These dwarfs are plenty scared of us given we've only got Bomber Dribble Snot and some regular goblins. <laughs> like, we haven't got any of the dangerous stuff anymore. We've just got Bomber and some other gobs. Oh, they've realised. <laughs> Womp womp. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the elusive goblin daka. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. I have my doubts about the goblin daka and whether it can really work, but there is only one way to find out. Opponent's players gets pro. Boo. Uh, I'm choosing it. Yeah, the one from the Arcat. It's been a cruel game against big mean dwarfs or little mean dwarfs. Dwarfs, whichever way you want to size them. Evening one and all, my local club had our first bubble tournament, Mug Bowl. Won one and had two draws. Amazing to sort of. Congratulations. That's awesome that you had a fun day doing that. What team are you running?
Now, a sensible person would pick the ball up here before throwing the bomb. But I refuse to be that person. Good. Nice. Stunned one of them, knocked down another one. I'll take it. I would have liked to kill one of them, but still a pretty good bomb. Always gave him an now by an Amazon team. Yeah, Amazons are pretty good. They're pretty good. <laughs> Bombs. They're running away, look. They're literally running away. Maybe the maybe the goblin daka has some merit to it. We're literally causing the dwarfs to run away from us. Look how much that team of dwarfs, all with block, tackle, armor 10 plus, fear a team of 10 goblins with no trolls. And just one weapon. <laughs> Madness. I am going to try to get the ball up this time. Love it. So as long as I throw here, it can't go wildly inaccurate. It can fumble. So let's not hurt anyone stood next to you. Where's Darth Otter? Otter's got the ball. Otter's going to be our hero. They're like properly running away. <laughs> What's happening? Why are these dwarfs so scared of our goblins? I'm so confused by this strategy. Okay, so the furthest these ones can go is there. I'm going to tempt this one to come fight us so that we can gang up on it and foul it. Are they just accepting their win? Maybe. I mean, it's not impossible that we score, right? Like, I get that it's hard because they're going to put a bunch of block and tackle in front of us. But if they keep backing off, they'll give me some chance to draw. Like, the odds are against it, for sure. But, at the same time, they're not zero. <laughs> I love the image of this. I love the image of these dwarfs just being like, mm, goblins coming. Running away. Did you know? It's a rumor that Spike magazine editor, Yore Rino, So it's a double rush to punches. Or you could do no one rush on you, but you haven't got block. Just keep running. Go to the back of the pitch and keep running off the back of it. That's what I want to see. That's like the danger zone. Bomber is amazing. Bomber's just like a constant fear factor. So, my drink 
Okay, they're coming. They're coming forward. They finally decided they're ready to fight some goblins. I mean, yeah, the boats are just going to make the lines. Looks like no place. The armor break there, that was nice. Um, where's the place going to be? See how we go. I think that's like the first time I've actually had the bomber on offense. It's interesting because it kind of can give you two blitzes in a turn, can't it? In effect. If it knocks one of them down, then you manage to get knocked down on a blitz as well. We've still got a lot of very hard work to do here. <laughs> we've had we've had I think some favours from the opponent not pushing us sooner and we've had a nice turn just then but there's still a very very long way and a lot of dwarfs between us and the end zone okay. it doesn't have tackles so it's got to hit again it does get it a second time though no arm break something <laughs> yeah, right. Like, let's just throw the goblin. No. I mean, my trolls would just roll a one anyway. They haven't been good trolls. So. It's funny because the previous game I was joking about, would this team be better off without trolls? And they decided to let me find out. Dauntless hit to make the gap here. It's risky, but I think it's got a lot of upside if it works. Like, we're going to be in scoring range, which is not a thing. Oh, wrong push direction. Oh well. That's not where I meant to push it. It's actually quite annoying. Oh well. Um, maybe throw a bomb at him? Oh, 
We finally rolled a one at the bottom. That push direction's annoying. I meant to push it straight up and I just misclicked. Mm. Still. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, they're not hitting the ball anyway, so. We will have some dice to try to score here. They won't be good dice because they're going to stick tackle on us. But we'll have some dice to try to score. It's better than nothing. This game ends 1-1, I'll be very impressed. So will I. <laughs> I will be very surprised as well. Even now, I think it's a very long shot. It's possible, which is more than I thought it was going to be at one point. But it's a very long shot. I mean, it's basically going to be, can we roll a heap of threes? One, two, three, four three pluses. Good dodge skill. I don't think we're going to have a better option than that. Like, we could dodge this and then get a dauntless hit to save ourselves one dodge, but that's just trading a dodge off tackle for a dodge not off tackle, so it's not worth it. So pretty much we're just going for the dodges and hoping. Like I, I don't think there's any better option because everything else is dodging off tackle. Oh my god. Darth Otter. Darth Otter. One rush. Let's go. <laughs> Successful Goblin Daka. <laughs> I mean, they can still win. There's still two turns, so there is a there is a two turn score for the dwarfs. <laughs> I can't believe that one. <laughs> that was incredible. Uh, can we keep Bomber on the pitch? Argue the call. We've argued the call three times on Bomber. We haven't even used the bribe on him. That's insane. Uh, okay. Well, still got the bribe. Gonna, gonna keep, keep on fouling. Don't think we've got enough to do chevrons, have I? I think we still just go for something like that. I think Bomber's just got to sit deep in the middle, haven't they? Because we want to make it so they can't blitz him and then he can just throw a bomb. And anyone who comes through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goblin Daka. Yudlegar, I don't know if you're still here, Yudlegar, but I stand corrected. The Goblin Daka is OP. This game's bonkers sometimes. Like, think about, like, the a game we played earlier where it was like, couldn't do a two plus with the elves. And sometimes it's like, yeah, you want to do four, 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 three pluses? No problem. Uh, okay, so the scoring, these are not, these literally can't score because they're movement four, even with rushes they can't score. So the scoring threats are only here. So let's just stack everything up on this side, I guess. That can score in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. That probably can score in the middle, so be aware of that as well. I'm just literally going to put things in front of that. Oh, I guess I can't do that and have them here. Oh, that's still fine. Okay, we should do that then. Mm. The, the trick to the goblin decker is getting rid of those worthless trolls. Right, like imagine the trolls on the decker. They would have been useless. They would have been lumbering around the back of the pitch. Not contributing.
It was a very strange defense, Meow Cat. My opponent seemed more worried about getting bombs thrown at him than about stopping me. Like, was really like just backing away the whole time. So yeah. It was a very strange defense. You can do a TTM deck with a troll, that's true. That assumes the trolls are going to do anything, Shepherd. Shepherd the troll. They're not even... See, that was a POW. You could get SPP from a POW, but they wanted the surf. So they're going to get their surf. This dwarf coach just has a different mindset. Maybe they're just more worried about their team not dying than about winning. That was good until you bombed me. Listen, I'm not sure when this became my fault that I threw a bomb at you. I don't see, I don't feel responsible for that. You just chose to lie down somewhere where Bomber was throwing a bomb. I don't see how I'm supposed to stop you from doing that. You have free will. Sorry, whoever that is. Rib goatee. Thank you for your service. You have a dead gob. Skulls for the skull throw. Skulls for the strawberry throw. I can tell you what is going to happen this time. Bomber's going to throw up another bomb. Maybe straight at this guy. Sick of his goblin bashing nonsense. Bagger is yes. Just lob a bomb straight in his face. Dwarf coaches are always terrible in this season. They're monsters. Hey, Larry. I mean, the orc coaches aren't far behind. So we're on to you too, Larry. Really just everyone not just playing. Uh... Oh, they have got a scoring threat after all that. Okay. I thought they were just not bothering, but they have got a scoring threat. Your orcs died? No. I underestimated that. I thought we were done, but they have got a scoring threat in. And actually, it's in a good spot now. I think we have to throw a bomb at it. Too inaccurate. is no longer looking as good as I thought it was. Good dice that turn. Yeah, they're going to score. I really thought we had that. And then I just completely forgot they started to move that one. And they managed to do everything. They did the pass. They did the catch. It's just two twos to score, really. Like, this is an easy two dice block. Damn it, I counted my chickens. Oh, no, they're not in range. Wait, what? They're not in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. I did all that and they're not even in range. <laughs> Why did I do all that? 
<laughs> oh well. <laughs> Should have counted squares. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> I'll allow it, Gigi Larry. I'll allow it. Also, everyone is allowed to play whatever teams they want, including dwarfs. And everything I say is just me being silly. But dwarfs are boring. And I will say that forever. They've got the advantage, but there is no sure. <laughs> just a badly hurt. They tricked me into giving them more SPP. Sneaky dwarfs. Sneaky dwarfs with their sneaky dwarf strategy. But they could have been punching us like for all of that second half and they didn't want to. Very strange. Very strange. But a draw. In the end, we have not got enough to replace Ode to Joy yet. So we're going to be playing off 13 players next game and down a troll. Um, but what we have got, very exciting things that have just happened. <sighs> We've got the cheerleaders. They're so good. Breakdancing Goblin on a squig. Pretty great. Not as incredible as the Dancing Goblin. A Dancing Halfling. But maybe we should still use the Goblin for our Goblin team. Feels right. Maybe we should save the, save the Dancing Halfling for our Halfling team. No, I think I need the Halfling for one game. We can change it later. I love the Halfling too much. I want it. We're going to have a halfling for one game. And then we'll swap. Um, we could take it up to 6 SPP. I have now seen a goblin chili's underwear. And how do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, that was game number six of the goblin run. We didn't win, but we didn't lose. So it counts as a win because we were goblins against dwarves. Uh, so, I don't think we're changing the team for the next game. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you thought, that was cool, goblins didn't lose to dwarfs, why don't you celebrate by hitting that like button and the subscribe.